two lasers should be test fired before every procedure to ensure it is in working order. Before starting, place a laser sign on each entrance into the surgical suite. After you plug in the laser, you are ready to get started. Start by unlocking the laser arm. The diagram on the top of the laser will guide you. Now you will move the arm into position to test fire the laser. Start by moving the arm backwards, then walk the arm in a clockwise motion. Be careful not to move abruptly as the arm of the laser has fragile pieces. There are up arrow stickers on the arm. Look for these to confirm it is in the correct position. Start by taking the red lens cover off the lens. We keep the lens cover on the white knob by the weight. The arm is not balanced yet, so you may want an assistant to help you while the laser hand piece is connected. Using a twisting method, much like a soda cap onto a bottle, connect the handpiece to the laser arm. Once the handpiece is connected, connect the computer cord from the laser to the handpiece. Once the handpiece is connected, the laser arm can be balanced. Loosen the knob and move the weight until the arm is balanced. You will know you are in the correct position when the arm is steady in a 90 degree angle. Now you are ready to turn on the laser. The red button is an emergency shutoff. Turn the key to the right like a car key to turn on the machine. The pedal to activate the laser is kept in the back of the laser machine. As you can see, it has a cover so it cannot be accidentally stepped on. Safety first! Everyone in the room must wear the appropriate goggles during the testing. Fluids should also be available. We will test the laser beam on a moist tongue depressor. An X marks the spot and will help guide the laser beam. Test fire on an area such as a mayo stand with moist towels. For testing, you can change the laser shape so that you can visualize it on the tongue depressor. Now you can take the laser off standby. There will be a red aiming beam. Center this on the X written on the tongue depressor. Press on the pedal and the laser will fire. You want to ensure that the laser fires where the aiming beam is. Be sure to put the laser on standby when you are done test firing. The machine now can be turned off until the surgeon is ready to use it. After the case is done, turn off the machine and unscrew the laser handpiece. Because the arm was balanced with the handpiece on, you need to make sure that you take the handpiece off the arm does not fly up in a violent manner. Now move the arm back to its location at the back of the machine and secure it. Remember to replace the red lens cover. The last step will be locking the arm back in place. And that's how you prepare and put away the CO2 laser. Last but not least, don't forget to put the laser key back in its proper location. Thank you for watching. Watch more of our videos from Sibley Memorial Hospital Johns Hopkins Medicine.